Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on the faction feud prep for Ivar's Feud Frenzy. Uh, so we got feud this weekend. Uh, we're going to be starting in a couple days, a little less now. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, probably about a day and a half. Um, so I want to talk about the solo portion of the feud. If you're chasing the solo milestones, I have that broken down on the left for you here. If you manage to pull Ivar, his talent up 75 points a talent up. Loot coins are worth 20,000. If you win a feud battle, it's worth 15,000. Um, the brawl is worth 35,000. You get two points for your feud score up to 2 million, so that's worth up to 4 million. Uh, max is 10.9 or 10, 10 million. Yeah, 10.9 million. So um, to get there, there's also a daily portal. I don't know how much that is going to be worth. I can't remember how much the previous feud was worth. I want to say it was like 250,000, uh, but I don't. I can't remember for sure. It could be less. It could be more like the 500,000 variety. We should get two days of that uh, to claim. Um, so that will help. So basically this one all that matters is wins and fast wins um i'm not sure if the minimum is going to be four or five at this point if it's four this is how i plan on running mine um with a, a 15k talent roster I, I might potentially not use gooker and use a hall of fame piper instead because that would be an even lower uh roster um, but I feel like Gooker can get a little bit faster uh, wins for me. So you should absolutely go, if it's if 4 is the minimum, go with the lowest 4 you can. If 5 is the minimum, go with the lowest 5 you can. It'll either be 4 or 5, so have a plan for both. Um, if I have to go 5s, my fodder is not really good. So my next best option would be here. And tossing in gold dust, which still keeps me at 19,000. Um, I'll probably see a bunch of five stars with that, uh, so I may not end up using Gooker at that point. Um, I may have to switch it around. I could always use, um, in the Hall of Fame slot, I could always use Andre, because he's fairly low for me. Leave Gooker blank, and then switch this to any of my big hitters, because it's open. Uh, you know, I could use... I could use Sako, Quake, Zombie Triple H, Kane, any of those guys. So basically, you have to plan for seeing everyone. Um, but so you should try to go low and go fast, and 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 tag with a partner that's going to go fast too. Uh, there's three open slots, so you could be seeing this. This middle one has a great uh, line bonus. I'm not trying to get any line bonus though. To be frank, guys, um, if you can fill good fodder and still get a line bonus, go for it. I can't. So if I try and fill a line bonus, um, this is the lowest one I can get. And I could probably do this and, you know, at 23k, maybe survive. Have to change this around a little, though. Um, let's see who I could end up getting. Um, but it's just not worth it to me. So if it's four, I could run with this whole line and use, let's say... Oh, let's say Earthquake. Um, and I could maybe use a sub build and it's 200% more damage, but it's not worth it to me uh, to run a 28k roster. That'd actually be 27k. Um, so I'd run into a lot of, of bigger teams probably for a little bit of a sub bonus on someone. Now, the negative color gem generation is probably worth talking about, though, because say they bring like a Zombie Triple H. His choose move is not going to be choosing very many. Plus, you could have uh, potentially the gem degeneration perk on top of it. I haven't purchased that because I'm trying to go cheap on perks. But that perk and this row, if people are filling it, is going to be really hard on a guy like Quake uh, for generating blast gems. That's going to take... Potent um, I don't know. Usually the color gem generation works on the blast gems and stuff too. It doesn't say that, but it usually does. Um, and it'll completely nerf him and choose move guys and hurt him quite a bit. 
Uh, so in cases like that, you maybe go with someone like, uh, you know, Sokka with bleed, you know, Kane who's destroying Rose, Dango to to protect Gem Chi some wins. Um, someone like Cena, if you got him five star, where gen Gem generation doesn't matter. Even at four star, he'd be pretty solid, um, but not against some of the five star silvers we're gonna see. So keep that in mind, guys. This middle one is a is a double boost to the finisher, which is a big boost. So if you have the right guy with a big finisher, say, oh, I don't know, a Keith Lee, a Zombie Brian, a Scott Hall, Hall of Fame, uh, doubling their finisher is going to be massive. Um, and that's not going to be very much fun for anyone. Um, so that'll be a tough line bonus. Um, that's why you don't want to jump up and and get people that are filling these lines with a lot of guys because you're gonna you're gonna hit some pretty big hits so have a turn one answer you know maybe zombie austin is your guy to use uh lock people down on stun but do keep in mind that that six mp is kind of the new seven mp because if someone has mp down two you're not going to start turn one with that seven mp um so do keep that in mind you really want a six mp guy to start if you need uh so that's kind of why I'm thinking about maybe Hall of Fame Piper, too, because he's got the 5 MP to start, and then he's got the sub to lock the board down. So I may just end up going that route, too. 200% um, damage on a sub would be substantial, but I still don't know that it's worth filling the line bonus for me. Um, I could also, you know, do something like... Oh, you swap Quake out for him and, you know, keep a little bit lower... Uh, line up there, but it's still higher again than I would like. So it's it's just not worth getting the line bonus to me. Uh, so my advice would be not to go for that line bonus unless, you know, you got someone. So, I mean, if you got Scott Hall and you don't think you're going to keep people down, then maybe you fill this line. Or Keith Lee and you don't think you're going to keep people down, but is that really a problem for you normally? Probably not. So, um Think about that with the line bonus. How much different does difference is it actually going to make for you? This is more from a defensive standpoint. It's going to be super annoying for some people. I wish I had better fodder here uh, because this would be really annoying line bonus for people. Um, so anyway, you're going to want to go in and go fast because if you average 10 minutes of brawl, it's probably going to take 11 hours to max. That's a lot of feuding at a lot of really fast brawls. Um, and that's assuming it's five. These times are based on five per match. Uh, if it's four, you're going to have to adjust that a little bit and um, need to go much faster on your brawls since you're going to get uh, one less win. But also you're getting a bigger brawl bonus. So, uh, you know, maybe in the eight minute range would be better because uh, five, we're saying two minutes a guy. Really, you can do if you shouldn't be taking longer than 10 if you're picking your best guy anyway. So... Um, again, be really smart, get feud partners, talk to your feud partners, change lanes when you have to, don't be a hero, be fast, swap out, communicate, all the normal stuff. Um, I'm going with MP up three, protect gems are going to do more, more damage. Um, I don't have anyone that that's really good on, you know, one, two, three kid, obviously that's great for possibly Harlem Heat, Booker T. If you don't have yours leveled really high. Um, he's a low, low talent option that's going to do really well. Um, so you could use him, but again, keep your fodder really, really low. Um, that's going to benefit you the most, um, and get those fast wins and make sure your teammates are doing the same, or it doesn't matter if you're going in low. This is all about wins. It doesn't have to be unique individual guys. It's old school feuding where you're just taking one guy in and winning as fast as you can. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Again, I don't know if it's four or five. You'll have to see when the feud starts. So have a plan for four, have a plan for five. I really hope it's four because I can get a lot better fodder that way. Um, and so for me, it's better. It may not be better for you, uh, but it's certainly better for me. And that looks pretty good for me. I would love to go with a 13k roster. If I took this roster in, I would be much, much faster 
much, much faster than eight minutes. It'd probably be five and six minute feuds most of the time. Um, cause I doubt I would see anyone or very few, um, five stars when I was evenly matched. It's almost impossible because of how low the talent is. So, uh, going with a low roster, if you can, there's going to be a lot of problem guys. Do pay attention to your gem generation guys and your, I, I like I said, it usually affects quakes blast gems. So you're really going to want to pay attention to that. Plus if they have the gem degeneration perk, you're not going to be choosing anything. So be very careful with the choose move, the spam gem guys. Um, you're going to want to go with guys that have areas and things like that, you know, where you're swapping a random area, um, or that sort of thing. If you use Quake, I would probably suggest running his, um, his other build set, the sub and green one, um, and not the, not the blast gem because you could end up really getting hurt that way. So the random three by three area move along with the sub and you can start with the sub, um, first you can put, um, steal on them and start with the sub and you're gonna get a bunch of blast gems on the board and then you're gonna swap a random three by three area probably catch those blast gems um, and hopefully recycle your greens depending on if you have um, his plate on or not uh, his skill plate which i don't but i might for this feud if i need to um, i'll put his plate on and help with the help with the recycle so keep that in mind, guys, when you're picking your lineup. Um, you want those areas, random areas, choose areas. You do not want your, your chooses. That's why uh, I was looking at Gooker as a good option, because this is really going to hurt in combination with gem degeneration, um, and you're probably going to get hammered pretty hard, because I do think we'll see a lot of people filling this bottom line, because a lot of people have new gen fodder, and attitude striker fodder. I just don't. So I think you're going to see a lot of this line filled. I wish I could. Um, so this one is worth it if you can go with low fodder, but don't go too high with your talent or you're going to get in trouble. Um, probably won't see a lot of the top line. If you do, it's everyone's going to be turn one with bigger uh, damage to red gems and stuff. They're going to have to pull Ivar, so not super worried about it. Again, this, this middle line uh, is double finisher, but the guys that it really, really benefits probably don't need it most of the time anyway. Uh, the bottom line is kind of the the really good one, and mainly because of this negative two to color gem generation. And, um, you know, if I was filling that one, I probably would also get have gotten the perk um, for the gem degeneration just to really uh, stick it to my, my opponents and make my life super easy. Um, and then the other perk I have is the MP down reduced by one. It was really cheap to get that one. It's available with the first one. So I kind of feel like that's a must have and just enough to be really annoying to people. Um, so anyway, guys, I think that's probably going to cover it. Uh, you're going to see any, any guy under the sun is a, is a potential potential issue. Uh, this, this perk is really going to hurt guys like Kofi though. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, uh, when you're picking your roster, some of your normal guys that might be really good, it's going to it's gonna suck a lot, um, this bonus. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you have a great feud this weekend, and I hope this uh, video helps. Um, so remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and thanks for watching.